bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and he spent all he had, yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. Uh -huh. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloth. Because she thought, if I just touch his cloth, I will be healed. Uh -huh. Immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt her body, she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once Jesus realized the power had gone out of him. Uh -huh. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my cloth? <laughs> you see the people crowding against you. His disciples answered, and yet you can ask who touched me. But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet. Uh -huh. And trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Uh -huh. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to sit down around this table yes. to share from God's word. Yes. We know that tonight you have prepared a table for us yes. in front of our enemies. Yes. And Father, how I pray that the enemies will not block our ears to hear yes. and to see what you have or what you have for us this evening. Yes. I pray for my brothers and my sisters that Lord, together you will anoint us that this word will find room in our hearts. It will grow and germinate. It will help us, my Father, to mature in our Christian walk. We thank you tonight and we bless you. For we know you are a good God. Thank you for your grace and thank you because of your mercy and your grace. We love you and we praise you. For we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. And God's people say, Amen. 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 From the scripture that we have read tonight, the book of Mark, when you begin a little uh, uh, up front from verse number 21, Jesus had just returned to the west side of the lake, and that place that he had come from was known as Capernaum. Mm -hmm. Now, in Capernaum, a ruler of the synagogue and what we call in our day-to-day -day life a church administrator uh -huh. named Jairus came pleading with him to lay his hands on his dying daughter. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Now, let me just pause there and say that the people in Capernaum, they were familiar with Jesus Christ. Now, the reason why I say these people were familiar with Jesus Christ, it is because when you read in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 13 to verse 17, it is in Capernaum that Jesus began his preaching ministry. Okay. So these people were familiar with him. It is dangerous for us to be familiar with Jesus. Mm. I wish somebody said amen. 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 It is dangerous when we familiarize ourselves with Jesus because Jesus is not just the son of a carpenter. Uh -huh. Jesus is not just a human being. Jesus is not just a familiar man that walk around here. He is God Almighty. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is the great I am. He is our healer and our deliverer. When we look at him, we see victory. When we look at him, we see power. When we look at him, we see change. When we look at him, he can change our circumstances. So the people in Capernaum had become familiar with Jesus. Glory to God. Now, before this time, there was an earlier man who the Bible calls the official son who Jesus had healed and rebuked people saying, unless you see miracles, you can't believe. Go ahead. Right. After he healed that son, the people came to him and Jesus was telling them, you people, before you see miracles, you can't believe. Now, the reason why I'm talking, the way I'm talking is that I want